Hello my friends, today I want to share to you on how I edit my videos using Splice app. You can edit your videos using your iPhone only and iPad. <clears throat> now what is Splice? Um, let, let us see, what is Splice app? So Splice is a free video editing app for iPhone and iPad. The app is easy, easy to use and let users edit HD picture, pictures, videos into professional quality, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so um, basically Splice is a video editing app um, which is free. However, if you use a um, the free version, you won't have access to a lot of uh, features of um, Splice app. So um, now I'm going to jump uh, to how I edit my videos and I will show you uh, how easy it is to edit on just uh, using just your iPhone. All right, so first is if you go on vacation or there's something that you shoot or um, important occasions of course um you use your iphone and all your photos will or uh, videos will be saved to your iphone now you have to create an album be before you edit your videos that will make it easier for you so first you go to your photos and click the left top right corner and new album so if you create album for example i made um unboxing video you see um with the uh, um extension cord or power board so i'll put power board here and then i'll click save and then it will make me select which video or photos i want so I'll select all the photos and videos that I want and then I'll click done. Now I'll go to my Splice app and then I'll create a video. I created this one before and uh, that's already been finished. And but just to show you on how to create video easy, um, I'll make it again. So First, you click new project and then on the top there's a recent click that uh, arrow down and go to um, the what do you call this um the album that you've created so what is that international power board or a created power board there you go power board and then you select all the photos and videos that you want to upload and then click next and then the title of the project for example power board and then click create now on the aspect ratio i always use um landscape but you can always use for instagram portrait square or standard vertical but it's advisable to always shoot your videos or photos on landscape or if it's if it's all landscape all landscape and if it's or vertical or portrait please shoot all your videos on one aspect ratio um it's it won't be it won't look nice if you shoot your videos to vertical and then standard and then landscape that won't look good Okay, and then create and then on here you can like um, cut just click um, the the video itself and then if you want to cut just click split this will show split 
and then if you want to speed it up just on the bottom there's video volume speed filter and transform stuff like that now we're going to a speed if you want to speed up your video now it will look like this that if we put more a little bit speed it will look like this all right so i'll just put 2.5 now for the speed and i will lower the volume so if you click volume it's on 100 if you want to lower it just go to zero that's it so the there will won't be any volume now now here too um i want to lower the volume and i if i want to split for example here and then i'll split this from here split because it would take time to unwrap that and then once i unwrapped it split and then i'll delete this if you want to delete just click the thumbnail on um, the the video itself and click delete all right now then if you want to speed all of them just uh, do the same thing also i'll here I'll split and then delete and I will delete this one now I will also lower the volume of this and if you want to zoom in or zoom out you can use your two finger to zoom in or zoom out all right so I'll zoom out this one and I'll lower, also lower the volume of this. Now for, these are the photos. These are videos and ending are the photos. Now if you want to create a transition from here, just zoom in and then click the middle like that. And you will see these transitions here. So maybe I'll use whip as a transition. There you go. And if you want to adjust the transition, just um, click on the bottom. This will adjust how fast it is. So 0.8 seconds, or I'll put 1.5 seconds, maybe 1.3. There you go. Or maybe 1. 1.2. Yep. Yeah. There you go. And if I want to apply it to all, you can click that double check down um, the right um, bottom corner and click apply all now this transition will apply to all of your photos and videos including here but i want this one i want to delete this one so i'll just click that and i'll choose none all right and then i'll click this too and i'll choose none to delete it and then if you if you want to um, put another uh, photos or videos, just click media and then click add, like maybe recent videos and stuff like that. But for me, um, this looks all right. And then I'll apply music. Um, there's a lot of music to choose here. But uh, uh, I'll probably choose jazz and you can choose yep. here or that. Yep, yeah. or this. Probably choose this. Yep, yeah. I'll add that. And then at the end, if I want to fade the music out like I'll just click the video and uh, the music itself and then click the volume and then if you click this fade um, there's two like fade 
in and fade out so i'll click that fade out there what will what will do is it will lower down the volume down the end of of the video there you go now let's play and have a look Quick stop and speed that up as well. Make it 2.2 maybe. I'll speed this one too. To two. All right. Then if you want to like move the photo or video or zoom in. Just click um, the photo itself on the top and then you can like zoom in or zoom out for example if you want to zoom in and show that iPhone there holder and also if you want to add text there are text styles here for example I want to add text uh, on the beginning I'll choose Textiles or text. Um, usually, I use textiles on the beginning, at the beginning of the video, um, because this has a lot of um, options that I can use um, here, like that, like that, like that. There you go. So I'll probably choose this one. It's pretty simple. This one. I like it simple. I'll just choose international. I'll just put international and then power port and then click that check. And if you want to zoom in, you can zoom in or zoom out. Okay, international power board. So let's see. USB cable. I'll put three USB cable. I'll double tap and three USB cable. And then I'll put it down here. There you go. And if you want to adjust the length of um the uh, text you can adjust it here okay. so after that when you are finished just click that top uh, right corner to share or save you can choose from full hd 1080p or whatever you want here but um, it's recommended to use full HD 1080p and then click save yes and then once it's saved it will save to your photos you can share that to your friends to Facebook and YouTube if you have YouTube channel or you can share this straight to Splice, like share this video and to Facebook. Probably push Facebook and International Power Board. There, um, I'll just put International Power Board. public and then share
There you have it. Uh, it's finishing now. Share it to Facebook. All right. So that's it, my friends. I hope you like this uh, video that I made. Um, I didn't edit this. Um, and this is not sponsored. I just want to share this to uh, the people, my friends and relatives and uh, everyone that can benefit to this. Bye.